I'm going to introduce solving weak acid equilibrium problems. I'm going to work a few for you, and I'll have you work a few throughout the podcast. The steps for working these weak acid equilibrium problems are always the same. First, you need to decide the major species or the species that actually is going to produce the H plus and control the pH. Based on your K values, you will decide on what that dominant equilibrium is. Once you've decided, you'll write the equilibrium expression for that dominant reaction. You'll list the initial concentrations. You'll write the equilibrium concentrations in terms of X. And you'll substitute in to the equilibrium expression and into the ice expression. And you'll solve for X the easy way, which is by eliminating X's that are added or subtracted and simplifying. Here's a typical reaction. We've got a 0.1 molar um, HF, hydrogen fluoride solution. That is a weak acid. It's got a Ka value, quite small. Here's our dominant reaction. And by dominant reaction, we simply mean that between these two substances, the hydrogen fluoride is the stronger acid. The water is going to act like the base. You'll write your ice expression, putting in your 0.1 molar. You have no initial concentrations of the hydronium or fluoride ion. You will lose X, gain X, and gain X stoichiometrically. You then end up with 0.1 minus X, X and X. Put these in to the equilibrium expression. You're then going to simplify which you can do because of the size of your Ka, and throw out that X. And then simply solve for X. When you find X, it will be equal to the hydrogen or hydronium ion. And when you take the negative log of that, you will have found the pH. This is a very common problem that they will ask you to do on the AP exam, is to find the pH of a weak acid solution. So let's look at another one. We've got the pH of 0.1 molar HCN. You've got a Ka value, very, very small. So you start with your 0.1 molar. Water will not be included. You can draw a line straight down or simply leave it out. You've got 0, 0, minus x, plus x, plus x. That gives you 0 0.1 minus x, x, x. When you put that into the equilibrium expression, you've got x squared over 0 0.1 minus x. Of course, we're going to simplify and leave that out. And that's going to be equal to our 4.0 times 10 to the negative 10. When you find x, it will be equal to the hydronium ion. And then you can take the negative log of that. Go ahead and try that problem yourself and make sure you can come up with a pH of 5.2. Another weak acid problem. Again, you can see by the Ka value that this is quite weak. We've got a 0.01 molar solution. The formatting for these problems is always going to be exactly the same. You're always going to have a one-to-one -one stoichiometry because weak acids always dissociate stepwise into the hydrogen or hydronium ion. This becomes, again, x squared over 0 0.01 minus x. Of course, we've left that x out, giving us a simplified version, which is certainly very valid based on the size of the K. Solve for your x and solve for your pH and check it on the next slide. Well, actually, sorry about that. They didn't ask you for the pH on this one. They only ask you for the hydronium ion concentration. Very common. We get used to solving for pH all the time. Go back and make sure that that's the value you had for the hydronium ion. And then if you wanted the pH, you would take the negative log of that value. 
when you have a mixture of weak acids, it seems like a very complicated problem. If you had HF and HOC6H5, you might think that you would need to find the hydronium ion for each substance and then add them up and average them and so on, but in fact you don't. In any mixture of acids, one of those acids will be dominant. And the dominant acid will be the one with the larger Ka value. So it will only be necessary in order to find the pH to find the hydronium ion for this reaction. This one will not contribute enough hydrogen ion to be significant. Percent dissociation or ionization is another thing you'll be asked to find. Percent dissociation is simply the amount dissociated, which would be the hydronium ion, over the original weak acid times 100. So the typical problem would have you finding the H+, putting it over the original HA, and multiplying by 100 to get that percent. One thing interesting about percent dissociation, if you have a weak acid, the percent dissociation will be greater as the acid becomes more dilute. Now your molarity will go down, but your percent dissociation will go up. You can prove that mathematically, or you can look at Le Chatelier's principle. If you were to add water, that would shift the reaction to the right, increasing the ionized form of the acid. Here's a problem to ask you uh, finding the percent ionization. I'll get you started on it. You put your initial concentrations in, leave your water out. You've got your minus x, your plus x, your plus x, your 0 0.2 minus x. Go ahead and write your equilibrium expression. Pause the slide and write your equilibrium expression and solve for your hydronium ion. So hopefully you've solved this yourself. You would get x squared over 0 0.2, leave out that x to simplify, and set it equal to 4.5 times 10 to the negative 4. When you find that x, remember that's your hydronium ion, so you would have your x over your original 0 0.2 times 100 to give you a percent dissociation of 4.6. One of the last things we'll talk about that's also quite interesting. If you have an acid and you can figure out its percent dissociation, you can actually determine its Ka. So here's an example. We have a weak acid, should be a capital A, a weak acid that's 0 0.1 molar and 8.1 percent dissociated. So by the definition of percent dissociation, the percent would be the hydrogen ion over the acid times 100. And we know the molarity, so now we've got the percent times the hydrogen ion over 0.1 times 100. Solving for the H+, plus, we get that molarity. Going into our Ka expression and putting in the H+, plus and recognizing that the A negative would be exactly the same, you would have your HA dissociating into your H+, plus and your A negative. Really important that you recognize those are the same. Put those in, and then your HA. Okay. I'm not sure why they've got the minus here. Actually, it should just be this 0 0.1, because that's your original concentration. So that gives you your Ka value.